Spice. We're at Chicago Comic Con. It's Saturday. If there's a day to be here, it's this one. Come on, troops. We're going to check this convention out and see what's on the floor. We're here with Luigi of Con TV, and she's going to be kind enough to tell us how you could get one of these massive Star Wars figures here. Saturday Cartoon Lunchbox signed by the artist and for a two year subscription, $119.99, get the Star Wars action figures or a skateboard deck. Well, there you go troopers for the power of Grey Skull or may the force be with you, that's what you get. Okay, we're at Kip's Collectibles with my good friend Kip. He travels here every year uh, from the great state of Michigan. You'll find some of the coolest high-end Star Wars autographs and collectibles. The one thing I did notice that Kip has that nobody else does is the Death Star Troopers. It's selling at six big ones. So if you do got one, you're going to want to hang on to it. But if you don't, you might want to try to find Kip after the show. Here are Big D's Toys and on the Wizard World Chicago Com Comic Con floor. $8, Troopers. This thing was relatively hard to get. If you were a loose collector, you just found yourself something. We're at the Ultra Sabers booth where they specialize in high quality, highly durable lightsabers. Uh, they have many different lightsabers on display. Some that have just awakened, so to speak, but we selected this one as a demo to show you guys. Now, me personally, I did not own this because I would be on my front porch wasted screaming thunder, thunder, thundercats, oh, like a dork, and it just wouldn't go good. But yeah, if this is for you, Ultra Saber Beat, check it out. With Steve the Fly Guy of FlyGuy.net. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing good. I'm it's doing a good. pleasure to finally meet Thank you, you live in the you. flesh. Uh, he's been here at Chicago Comic Con monitoring uh, some vendor traffic this weekend. How's seeing how the, the sales floor? are going. Very, very busy. This is probably the best con I've ever been to in terms of comics and toys. But uh, yeah, better than San Diego Comic Con for me, for sure. Hitting yeah, hard, hitting, hitting hard. The vendors, so. people are buying it up. He's got Black Series, six inch, the new three and three quarters. Uh, and again, we're at the Dorkside Toys booth, so come check us out. We're here at the Midwest Garrison booth of the 501st Legion with Javier Escada, TK265. How you doing, Javier? Good, Chris. Good to see you, brother. He's rocking the 501st. He's got the new Trooper armor. Tell us all about it, Javier. Well, this is the new First Order Stormtrooper armor for the new Episode 7 movie, The Force Awakens. Um, given the opportunity to build this armor for Celebration 7 through a Nobles who decided to give back something to the Legion since Dana and Jose were members of the Midwest Garrison when we first started stormtrooping. So uh, with that said, they said, hey, uh, we're going to give back to the Legion. And since we have the Star Wars licensing through Disney and Lucas, we're going to build 75 suits of the new armor and offer it to Legion members. I was fortunate to be one of the four members of the Midwest Garrison to be able to build the armor for Celebration 7. Awesome, Javier. Well, it looks great. Getting a lot of attention, I assume? Absolutely. All right, well, you boys keep up the good work out here, man. And then again, just stop by the Midwest Garrison booth or the 501st Legion booth at any of your conventions. There we go. Be safe. For the force be with you. We're here at the Twin Suns Outpost booth with my good friend Eric Pfeiffer. How are we doing, Eric? Doing well, Chris. How you doing? Doing your first ever show. What, to tell us what's going on here at Twin Suns. Yeah, so we got Twin Suns Outpost here at booth 1003B at Chicago Comic Con. We've got all our exclusive artwork here, everything from original paintings on canvas uh, to limited edition prints uh, with metallic finishes on them, pencil sketches, everything you can Awesome. And yeah, and just remember, troopers, if you're not here and you can't make the show, make sure to visit them at twinsunsoutpost.com and uh, you can view their entire inventory online as well. So overall, troopers, the Chicago Comic Con is showing with the San Diego Comic Con trooper, Dark Mall over there. Um, Dark Mall is hitting for a hundred dollars. So I don't know if you want to pay that kind of money for a figure, but in any case, uh, you will find it here on the floor. You will still find plenty of things to spend your money on uh, if you're not finding autographs and exclusives and things like that. Until next time, troopers. I'm Dark Spice at Chicago Comic Con. You're still so very, very glad you're not. We're out of here. The force is strong with sandtroopers.com. Indeed.